Hello, here we're looking at a smear from a urine cytology sample. This smear shows dual pathology. On the one hand, we have these singly occurring cells with raised NC ratios, round nuclei, smooth nuclear membranes, and what appears to be these ground glass nuclear inclusions. On the other hand, we have a more cohesive cluster of cells here. So let's compare the two types of pathology. We can see here in these singly occurring cells with the round nuclei, as we focus up and down, we're able to appreciate the ground glass nuclear inclusions. Note also that the chromatin is kind of pushed to the periphery. This appearance will always make us consider the possibility of a viral infection. And these cells are decoy cells. They're classically seen in poliomavirus or BK virus infection. Here is another field where, again, you can see these decoy cells with the round nuclei, the ground glass nuclear inclusions, and the marginated chromatin. Let's move on to look at a different cell group now. Here we can see a cohesive, rather crowded, disorganized sheet of cells. And let's look at a higher power view. This shows that there is some degree of nuclear pleomorphism with variation in nuclear size and shape. There is a mitotic figure here and another mitotic figure here, as you can see when we focus up and down. And definitely the nuclear membranes are rather irregular. Um, some of the cells also contain small but prominent nucleoli. And uh, perhaps there is a two to three-fold variation in nuclear size within this group. Here is a different group, and you can see the chromatin more clearly here, as well as uh, the irregularity in the nuclear membranes. The chromatin is crisp, it is rather coarse, and it's quite different from the washed out appearance of the cells with the viral inclusions. A BK virus immunohistochemical stain has been performed on this cytospin smear, and we can see that it is clearly highlighting the nuclei of the cells that have been infected by the virus. Occasionally, the more degenerate cells may actually appear somewhat more irregular, so we do have to pay attention to the appearance of the chromatin. The chromatin in cells infected by polioma virus has got variable appearances. They may sometimes be very obvious with this ground glass nuclear inclusion, but at other times you may still see a somewhat reticulated or clumpy chromatin pattern, and this depends on the stage of the viral replication as well as the preservation of the cells. So just to summarize, the features of polioma virus infection include raised NC ratios, usually round nuclei with smooth nuclear membranes, and the presence of viral uh, nuclear inclusions. Whereas in contrast, in cells of high-grade urothelial carcinoma, you will see more irregular nuclear membranes and coarser chromatin and sometimes prominent nucleoli. And also don't forget to look out for mitotic figures.